Hi guys, so what's up? Uh, welcome to a new video. Okay, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to tie a baiting rig that I use all the time. Uh, my box is a little bit messy, so I won't kind of show the box. But in here, in this coil over here, I have an Apollo rig. I use this rig all the time whenever bait is involved. For me, usually my baiting trips are offshore in salt water and shore baiting I, I don't really do much shore baiting but I've tried it once or twice and I use this rig and it worked pretty well as well so this is an Apollo rig a single hook Apollo all right this one is slightly longer so the, the, the swivel snap goes here and then the sinker goes down here the hook is somewhat in the middle slightly nearer to the top today I'll be showing you a slightly shorter rig it has the hook at around near nearer to the bottom. I can't give you guys actual hook sizes. I have, what I do have is a box of hooks right here, as you can see. All right, this is a box of baiting hooks that where I keep my stuff. Okay, what I can show you is the different sizes I have in here, and preferably the sizes that I use. Aside from Apollos. I use so-called mud eyes, mud eyes like these. Okay, this is actually a, only a 40 gram. I have a 60 gram variation, but I, I don't have it with me currently. Okay, this is a sure catch uh, fish ball 40 gram. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see. Sure catch fish ball 40 grams. This thing is very simple. I either tie on a snap or a swivel and then I clip it onto the eyelet over here. The other method I would tie directly from my FG in my reel. Usually, the setup for me is very simple. I have my rod, I have my reel. Okay, I usually use an overhead offshore. If it's spinning, then I'll be using my Stradic 2500. I usually tie on a FG knot to my leader. On my overhead reel, this is not the one. This is actually a right-handed Daiwa Bayat 150. Okay. Uh, I just took it out as a sample because my overhead offshore reel is actually um, rigged up onto a rod. I, I have 30 pound line spooled onto that, okay, 30 pound jigging line, Japanese jigging line, PE 1.5. And I have a 60 pound leader, which is the exact one I have right here, the Mustad 60 pound leader. Shock leader, 100% fluorocarbon, ultra low visibility and abrasion resistant yeah so this is what i use for my fg knot on the overhead reel on my stradic i have 10 pound line i usually put on 20 to 30 pound leader via an fg knot all right once i have my leader onto my reel the next thing i'll do is to clip on either a snap okay if i were to use a swivel in singapore uh most of the time i'm using swivels i'm either using a size 4 or size 6 okay so a size 4 I only have one left. Size 4, this is the size 4. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see clearly, but this is the size 4. If I'm not wrong, this is a size 5. And size 6 swivel over here. So these are the three sizes, size 4, size 5, size 6. Uh, the size 5 is not officially declared as a size 5. I kind of measured against a 4 and a 6 and uh, kind of made my own numbering. So. The equipment you need to tie an Apollo rig, okay, is a is a roll of leader. Today I'm using 60 pound leader, so that later when you guys see over the over the black surface uh, where I'm tying on, it I hope hoping that it might be clearer. You need hooks, okay, um, a pair of scissors, sharp scissors to cut off the leader, and the tags and all that, or you can use a cutter. Right here I have a Daiji Seiko picker. All right, it's actually for my arging use, okay. But I have a, a line cutter over here, which is actually very sharp. Um, I'm able to. It's like a nail clipper. I'm able to clip off leader tag tag ends, fluorocarbon lines, polyester lines, braided lines, very very easily. Without much further ado, let's get down to business. All right, guys. So right now, what you're seeing is a top-down view of my um, workstation. I have my reel right here which I'm going to put aside because um, I actually just brought it out for fun. Okay, let's put it right there. So main thing is your box of hooks, all right? If you, if you guys can see, I'm going to open it up. I've got silver hooks and I've got red hooks. There's actually not much difference, okay? The snaps are in here, which we don't need for now. We've got our row of leader, 
So what we want to do first thing is to get about an arm's length I would say an arm's length up to maybe just under two full arm's length Okay, just get a little bit longer just in case Okay, usually I get two, like your full wingspan Which is from one, stretch out both arms and then uh, one end to the other Alright, and then I just clip it off So I put that row of leader aside, that's more than enough Okay, what I do firstly, first things first, what I do is If you can see the leader over here Let me just put this aside Okay, let me just zoom it in here Alright, if you can see this leader over here this is one end this uh this is one end of the leader all right i'm just going to be doing a loop like this okay can you see so from here i put my hands like this right i hold on see the end there hold on to one end i just grip it over here i don't want it to be too big of a loop so i just loop it around like this um maybe slightly bigger Alright, and then I squeeze it together. So now that I've got this over here, I hold this part. I don't want it to be too long of a tag as well because I'm going to cut it off after that. But you want to leave a slightly bigger loop on here because in the case where you have to change up to, if the current is strong, you have to change up to a slightly bigger um, sinker and all that, it would benefit you when you slip your biggest bigger sinkers in okay so just hold on tight and very quickly just make another loop use the two lines from the loop like this I squeeze it together right here and I pull as small of a loop as possible with the two lines can you guys see right here okay what I do next is I take the loop so it should form this shape okay I take this part and I let it go through here once usually once is enough so i just tighten down and just make sure that the knot comes together nicely okay just make sure that the knot comes together nicely and you get a loop a loop like this okay can i let me just focus it once more so that you guys can see can you see this okay that's the loop i'm talking about so that will be for your sinker all right so from your sinker, you want to measure, okay? I'm going to put this out of frame here, and you want to measure about, maybe about this length, okay? Let me just zoom out, let me just zoom out, okay? You want to see maybe about from here, right at a loop at this end, you want it to be about this length, okay? Before your where your hook is, all right? Or maybe about here, okay? What you want to do is you want to take from this end, okay, to the other end of the line, and you want to squeeze it down here, okay? So you make a huge loop like this. That's what I do, okay? So I leave I leave the, the, the sinker end away. I clamp it down with my elbow, all right? And now I've got a big loop over here, and then I just match it up at the point where I want my hook hanger to kind of hang out, okay? And I do the same thing. I, I grab both lines, and I bend it into a circle. I take the big loop that we have and I put it through. This time I do it twice. Okay, once and the second time. All right. Now I want to pull it down equally. Okay, and I want to make sure that it's tight. All right. I also want to make sure that both sides are tight. So you just pull it down until it's like this. Okay, and you should get a knot like this. Alright, then with this tag end over here, you just want to snip it off, grab your cutter, okay, just snip it off until, don't cut too short, but just leave about this length, I don't know if you guys can see, yeah, now that my sinker side is done and I've got the middle knot done, I just locate the middle of the loop, the big loop, okay, and I just go towards my left, down about one thumb length like this if you guys can see just about one thumb length like this okay and i just clip it over here so the longer the longer line 
the longer line, okay, from the middle to the end, whichever is longer is for your hooks. And uh, in this case, I'm going to be using the longer one for for my for my swivel side. Okay, what I do is again I combine two lines. Okay, and then same thing as the sinker, just make a quick loop around. Okay, I know it's hard to see because of the camera angle and stuff like that, but what you want to do is you want to just tie a, a quick knot over here. Just make sure there's a not too big, not too small loop for your snap and swivel to to sit on. Okay, and same thing, tighten it down. Okay, and then snip the tag end off with your cutter, like this. So you want to just leave a, a short, a sh very, 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 very short uh, uh, tag end. I don't know if you guys can see, all right, roughly. Okay, and now for your hook. So, so now you want, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your hook hanger is kind of pointing up a little bit. Okay, you've got, you've got full length over here from here. Okay, all the way to here, full length for your hook to hang. Okay, and you see the middle part where your hook hanger is hanging downwards. That's how you want. Uh, that's how you know that it's kind of like the correct direction, okay, like this. You want it to be like this, you don't want it to be like this, okay, where the thing is going downwards. Just try to let it hang upwards, like this. Alright, uh, I'm sorry if you guys can't really see, it's my first time doing a top-down um, camera angle. Alright, so if you can see where the hook hanger knot is, this is the middle knot, right? Okay, I'm going to grab the hook hanger right here. And I'm going to show you very quickly how I tie my hooks, okay? So as you can see the, the, the leader line over here, I, I don't want my... Uh, let me just zoom out a little bit. I don't want my um, my hook to hang too far away from my rig, okay? I, I don't really have a reason why this works more for me. Um, usually I fish in uh, Changi waters and all that for local offshore fishing, bottom fishing, okay? Uh, I fish in the Changi waters and having an Apollo with a shorter shorter uh, hook hanger works very well for me. It works much better for me. I have no um, accurate reasoning to why it happens, but it just works for me and that is a tip that I'm going to give it to you. All right? Usually, for hooks wise, I use a hook. If you can see the two hook sizes in comparison, um, all right. If you just take a look over here, okay, this is the usual size. If the bites, if I'm getting bites but I'm not getting solid hook sets, I'll move down to the smallest one I have in my box over here, which is this size. I would call this size a size. I wouldn't even give, I wouldn't even give a number, but if I would, in John in JBL's numbering, I'll give it a one, and this is a two. All right. Okay, so since this is a one and a two. I'll give the two as um, my starter starter knot. Okay, this is the knot. I mean, this is the hook that I always start off with, a uh, size number two in JBL's terms. All right. So first things first. Let me just zoom back in so you guys can see clearly. I have my hook over here. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the leader. I'm going to go through the eyelet. So point the hook down, the sharp point down, and put it on your finger like this. All right, okay. First of all, I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put my hook facing down, and I'm gonna insert the leader through the eyelet. All right, and I'm gonna pull until I get the desired length. Okay, usually about such a length or so, about the width of my, of my uh, swivel box, as you can see, about the width of it so that's what I'm gonna do and then after that I'm gonna push the line parallel to my hook like so okay and I'm gonna using the the tag end I'm gonna make a loop and I'm gonna clip it down with my index finger here can you see that so I'm gonna make like a flower petal kind of thing and the next thing to do is to just go over clip it with your ring and your Clip it with your ring and your pinky finger and then pull through the loop. 
pull the tag end through the loop and go over again. You want to repeat this step about four to five times. So that was two already. Okay, push it down as much as possible and then go over again. It's very hard to show this on camera because it's actually very close contact tying. Okay, I've got four there. For the purpose of this video, I'll try to do five and six. All right. Very, very close contact tying. Next thing you want to do is you want to pull. So I usually use my mouth to bite down the tag end and then I grip onto the knot with my index finger and I pull with my mouth and my index finger concurrently and what I do is I usually hook the hook through the, the, the ring the big ring of my of my scissors and I just pull it with my leader line okay so I just hook it through here this solid metal piece and then to give me uh, better support okay instead of using my fingers and I just pull it tight okay once I pull it tight I kind of switch the knot facing up I bite it down with my teeth okay I bite it down with my teeth wrap it around and I give it a good pull all right this should make the knot really really tight okay so let me just switch off my autofocus so that I can manually focus on the hook for you this should give you a very 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 good tight knot okay what you want to do is you don't want to snip it too far down leave a little bit and just snip it off like that so you want to have this much of excess as you can see over here okay and then before you end off put it through the scissors loop again and just pull it tight okay and this is what I do for my Apollo hooks okay so remember you want your rig to be pointing down okay so essentially what you want to be doing is you want to be having a rig that looks like this okay so you got your swivel point up here and then you got your sinker point up here okay this is 60 pound leader and then you just pull it tight and then see which direction it falls if it falls downwards pointing down um, going up and then down then that's the correct way you don't want it to go opposite direction because it gets tangled easily but if you were to do it this way okay um, don't know if you guys can see the knot but but okay basically like this right where the knot is and then where the hook is it's pointing it's going upward curve and then pointing down that's what you want okay and it's as simple as that that's the Apollo rig that I use for my local Changi offshore fishing trips uh, most of the time um, I don't usually like I said I don't usually do shore baiting but when I do go on shore baiting trips um, I actually use Apollo rigs very often as well okay um, so what I do is after I'm done tying I wrap my my whole rig into a circle and I kind of just twirl it around into a clean circle like that as you can see all right so that's basically how I tie my Apollo rigs and um, yeah that's kind of it for today's video other than Apollo rigs I use mud eyes and tenyas very simple you either tie direct via an Albright knot or a put on a a swivel or a snap and then just clip it on to the eyelets available and it's simple as that and you're ready to go um, I would always advise you to tie a leader from your main line maybe 40 pounds um, fluorocarbon to your main line all right if you're going for boat fishing okay anything that um, floats your boat just use it okay and enjoy fishing um, after the circuit breaker and probably in phase two I hope you guys will benefit from my teaching you of how to make an Apollo rig, okay? Shout out to Jan Dabon for giving me this idea of teaching you guys how to tie an Apollo rig and sharing what are the rigs I use offshore in Singapore. So if you guys haven't checked out his channel, I'll link it in the description below. Follow him on Instagram where he sells jigs and various other fishing equipment as well. Do check that out. 
Uh, I'll link everything in the description, including my promo code, alright? Till the next time, guys. Tight lines, and God bless.